This morning, people around the country reacting to the death of former First Lady Nancy Reagan. She died of congestive heart failure at her home in Los Angeles yesterday. She was 94 years old. Former President George W. Bush says Mrs. Reagan was fiercely loyal to her beloved husband, and that devotion was matched only by her devotion to our country. Joining us now is former aide to President Ronald Reagan, Lanny Wiles. Lanny, thank you so much for oh, coming in this morning. Good morning, Nikki. So I, I know that you were there with them for many years. I was. Just kind of um, tell us a little bit about um, the time that you spent with them and, and how many years that you were working with well, them. Well, you know, I, I, I worked uh, for them in 75 against Gerald Ford. <laughs> and after the elections of 76, uh, he was on the public speaking, you know. And so we call that the mashed potato circuit. Mm -hmm. And I traveled with him, and then in 79, when we became a campaign, I'd travel with her, I'd travel with him, you know, and then we won. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know um, we're going to talk about a, a story that um, he was just telling me about a few moments ago that will really just tell you how close he became with the family. But certainly she was, she was an amazing force, did so many things for the country, and a lot of people said she had a lot of influence on her husband. She did, and she... Uh, Whatever that bond between them, you would have an event, and he would be, and she would say, is there something wrong here? She, uh, she was so observant, and she was always, they just doted on each other. You know, that look in her eyes, always looking up, that was sincere. That was real. They loved each other. That's what everybody said. It was a, a great American love story. Uh, Unbelievable. And it was truly like that behind the scenes. Absolutely. I, I, was, I was even looking at a letter that he wrote to her. Do they have little nicknames for each other? Because something, it, I, I, it was just the, cute, the cutest little thing. Well, you know, I always, you know, we always called her Rainbow because that was her secret service mm -hmm. code name. You know, and, uh, but, I mean, they, they were just honey or this, or, you know, I, I, I don't know of any particular one, but he, he did call her honey a lot. <laughs> yeah, um, you were mentioning a story that um, when she called you one time, I know you said that you have so many stories because right. you're with them for many years. Right. But, um, but relay that story well, to us this again. Is, this is good. It's, it's a lot about how they were. Mm -hmm. uh, my pager went off. I went to the, got a phone. We didn't have cell phones then, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to borrow the phone at Hamburg Hamlet to call the switchboard. And they said, Rainbow wants to speak with you, which was Mrs. Reagan. So I called and she said, Lanny, Ronnie is out in the garage looking for some card tables to put Christmas decoration on. Can you hurry up and help him look? So I canceled my order for lunch, went up to the house. The President-elect Reagan is in, in the storage units they had uh, in the garage. And I, I'm not paying attention to what he's doing. And I'm, I finally find the tables. We take them inside, set them up. And he says, well, Nancy, look what I found. And he had found some old photo albums. Well, three minutes later, in the living room floor of the Reagan's house, I am lying between the president-elect of the United States and the future first lady. Wow. And I am the page, I am the page turner. <laughs> and he, he would elbow, elbow me and go, well, she was a real looker. And to which she'd say, Ronnie. <laughs> St I'm still a real looker. <laughs> well, that, and, and that's, I, I, I guess you had a chance to really learn, you know, a lot from them. Oh. I mean, being around them, seeing them go from, from living in their normal house to the White right. House. Oh, absolutely. And, you know. I, uh, Ann, who was the, the housekeeper, I took Ann up the first time he went to the ranch after being president-elect, and they showed up, and they, I mean, when they were at the ranch, it, they were unbelievable. Horseback riding, you know, and they just set out, on, they had this great porch, that they, and it was just fantastic. They were just so close. What is the thing that you'll remember most about Nancy Reagan? She was tough. She was observant, but when she and I were together, or whatever, she was as soft and easygoing. Everyone talked she had a hard edge. She really had a soft edge. Uh, I remember we we had been in New York on a trip, and I I had gone and bought my wife an engagement ring, <laughs> and I showed it to uh, Mrs. Reagan. She said, "You know, Lanny, tell Susie, don't send us an invitation because there's only one person at a wedding. That's the bride." Oh, that's very sweet. Yep. That's very sweet. Well, thank you so much for coming You're in. Welcome. And, Good uh, seeing and talking you. To us. Oh, great seeing you. You know, I, I, I love your family. Thank All right, you. we appreciate it.